Saxon Algebra 2, the red book, thus the red marker. Um, abstract fractional equations, prepare to feel smart. These are problems that are jumbled with letters. Do you guys know that puzzle called the jumble where you um, solve four word puzzles and then you use the circled letters to answer a riddle? Oh, they were the story of my childhood. My grandpa used to always do them. And I always thought they were crazy hard. Okay, but I'm distracting even myself. In this lesson, we have problems that look like this. It's alphabet soup, you guys. What the heck are we supposed to do with that? John tells us, always in the instructions, solve four, and then he gives us a specific letter. If he didn't tell us what to solve for, we would have no way to move ahead with that problem. He has to tell us, and I don't write solve for every time, but I always write the letter that I'm going for and circle it so that I'll remember once I get into the heat of battle. The first step in these is to uh, kill the denominators. I'm sorry, I get so violent about denominators. And the way we do that is we use the LCM. Remember, we've got an equation here. So we find the LCM, and it's super easy to find the LCM when you have letters, because you just put them together. Um, and now we multiply each term by that. We don't do top and bottom with equations. We just multiply each term by it. We balance out side to side instead of top to bottom. Now we can cancel. This one, we don't have anything to cancel. And then we can rewrite. So this becomes a squared, right? Plus mx equals acx. All right. I mean, that looks better. Now the second step is to move desired letter terms. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. To one side. Okay, so what's our desired letter? It's X. So we identify where are our X's. There's one there and there's one there. We want to get them together alone on one side of the equation. So since this is here, I'd say let's scoot MX over this way and achieve that goal. That cancels equals ACX minus MX. Now, factor out the desired letter. There, again, there are x's, so this side stays the same. a squared equals, then we'll do x times the quantity a c minus m. Yeah, right, we factored. I just taught who? I think it's the little... Saxon one-halfers, algebra one-halfers. I just taught them how to factor, it's so fun. Um, and then divide away. We want the x by itself, so we just divide by ac minus m, divide this by ac minus m, boom, and this, I'm just gonna write equals x over here, so I have a neat, nice presentation. And, is that right? Yes. Okay, there are the steps. We're going to do one, two more of them, and then we're done. Oh my gosh, it seems like Christmas when we only have one topic, doesn't it? I mean, I don't know about you, but that might even be better than Christmas. Example, 40.2. Solve for M. I'm thinking about what Jesus would think of me saying that having, <laughs> having a math lesson with only one topic is better than his being born. I don't know, you guys. He might take exception to that, but I think he kind of gets it that I'm a fan. Um, but anyway, that just put a curious picture in my head. Okay, solve for M. Ready? X over M plus C. I hope that Jeff and Hamrietta and Hammy are enjoying the show. 
I haven't been able to chat with them as much this year. I, I don't really know how to communicate with them through video. I don't know if they watch with you. I suppose they do. Um, but I do, I, I miss the humans, but I really miss the math mammals because I just don't know how to connect with them in the same way. All right, kill the denominators. I also watched the Seahawks game tonight. This is the Thursday. This is Thursday night, the week before Thanksgiving that I'm recording this. I worked ahead so that I could get you guys all organized for Thanksgiving week. So today was that um, Seahawks game and they beat the Cardinals. And oh my gosh, I wanted them to win so badly because they got so, and the other game was such a mess. And so now I have that like violent afterglow that I get when I watch the NFL. So sorry. Um, okay, so our least common multiple. This one's over a one. He's no trouble at all. It's just AM, right? We've got an equation, so we don't do top and bottom. We do side to side. Hannah Cranny's happy with that. Cross out what cancels. This one all stays the same. The A's cancel. And now we can do AX plus ACM equals MY. All right, good. Move all the terms with the desired variable, which is m, to one side. Let's move them this way, right? Because there's an m and there's an m. Ax, that cancels. I'm gonna give myself more room. My minus acm. Now we factor out that desired variable y minus ac, and divide away. y minus ac, y minus ac equals m. I'm just bringing it around to this side. I don't like to rewrite these because it's too random. All the letters to me, I think, make our um, brain scramble a little quicker because it doesn't really have any meaning to us. So I don't like to rewrite these. I just bring my variable over and draw a neat box. All right. This is the right answer, but here's what happens sometimes. Depending on how you choose to swim things up here, sometimes you'll get positive or negative values. So you might look in the solutions manual and see that John says that the answer is something like this, minus AX over AC minus Y. And you go, what in the world? It's close, but it's not a match. If your solution looks a little different than John's, here's what you do. Take your solution and multiply it by minus one over minus one. Okay, so we're saying this is us, this is John, and this is gonna be us times negative one. It's gonna be minus AX over minus Y plus AC, right? And if I flip the order of these, which I can do, AC minus Y, then I get a match to John's answer. So. Moral of the story is sometimes your answer may look different than John's. And you know what? One is not better than the other. So it's just a question of which way things got swum. That's a word, right? Swum. Um, it just is a question of which way the fish went swimming. Ha! Huh. I reworked my verb on that, didn't I? And you can easily prove whether or not you match. In this one, we would see, yes, ours, if we multiply it by minus one, we get the exact same thing as John, so we're correct, but you don't have to change your form. All right? Okay, one more. 40.3. This one is not any harder, but it's just a little bit bigger. Solve for P. And you know, there's just a lot of dangerously bad jokes we can make when we have the variable of P. I'm gonna rise above them all. You can make them yourselves. Six over P minus AX equals MY 
plus k. Okay, fraction club for all. Least common multiple is pi. Not that kind of pi, not pumpkin pi, but this kind, py. So again, it's not, it's not top to bottom like we do for expressions. So this is an equation. So we multiply each term by the LCM because we can balance it side to side. If we just have a fraction without an equal sign, the only way we can balance is top to bottom. That's the way I always think of it, is do we have to balance top to bottom or can we go side to side? Side to side works because we have an equation and now we can cancel and cancel. So here we go, 6y minus APY, or AP as I like to say, equals MIP, plus kippy. Oh, all right. We are solving, my friends, for p. So where are the p's? One, two, three. All right, I think we should add ap over here. And I kind of want him to be first because you know a is the beginning of the alphabet. This cancels 6y equals ap plus m plus keepy. Factor out the desired variable, a plus m plus key, and divide away. a y plus m plus key, a y plus m plus key equals p, check the answer, 6y, m plus yk. Oh, I see something I did wrong, but it's an easy fix. I dropped the x out of this term way back here, didn't I? It should be, we'll just put it at the end, right? So that should have an x, and 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 that should have an x. Oh, now it's right. This John has as yaks. He wrote it in this order. He wrote m mm, plus yeek plus yaks. Okay, so this is John. Addition doesn't matter, or order doesn't matter in addition, so the fact that mine are scrambled is okay. There's no right or wrong. And within each term, order doesn't matter in multiplication, so I can change the order of my letters. So, I feel good about this. Once I picked up that missing X, you guys probably noticed that I forgot to write the X down. And you were probably having heart attacks for me. Thank you. Um, but anyway, I caught it in the end, so it's all good. That is example 40.3. That is the end of lesson 40. Hallelujah, we made it to the 40s. All right, I will talk to you soon. Farewell.